How's it going folks? You are very welcome to today's lesson. So if we do a quick recap on what we covered yesterday, we covered how uh, humans have interacted with services that have been created by glaciers. Okay, um, now how have we interacted with these? Well, we have, there's lots of positive things that glaciers have created. They've created a scenic landscape that can be used for tourism. They've created uh, deposits of sand and silt, which can be used for construction. They've uh, created fertile boulder clay soils, which are ideal for agriculture, okay? Today we're going to focus in on Glendalough National Park in County Wicklow, okay? Because uh, the processes of glaciation have done a lot to shape the landscape in Glendalough, have done a lot to create the mountains and valleys that we see in Glendalough to this day, okay? Remember, guys, the last time there's been glaciers in Ireland was during the last ice age, about 100 to 120,000 years ago, so a long time, okay? Um, so if you look at the slide here in front of you, just going to look at some of the, the, there are four main positive effects that uh, glaciers and glaciation have had, okay? Now, first of all, to recap, what is a glacier? A glacier is a large, thick sheet of ice, okay? And sometimes these glaciers can be like one kilometer thick, so they're really, really big and really heavy, and as those glaciers... You know, they, they, they slowly move across the surface. They can shape the landscape. They can break it down. They can erode it, and they can create soil and stuff, okay? So, uh, first positive effect of glaciation in Wicklow. Glaciation has created spectacular scenery in Glendalough, okay? So, look at the picture to the right-hand side of the slide. Um, you know, that's a lovely picture of the valley in Glendalough. And that kind of shape of that valley was created by the processes of glaciation, okay? And why is this a positive effect? Well, it means that it, it's a great tourist attraction, okay? So, it's it, any of you have ever been to Glendalock, it's a really fantastic place to go and walk around, okay? Um, it's got really, really nice landscape. It's got loads and loads of wildlife. And it's one of the most visited places in Ireland, okay? It also brings in tourists to the area. And what do those tourists do? Those tourists will spend money in local shops, restaurants, and cafes. Like, if you walk around Glendalock, you'll meet a lot of uh, tourists from abroad, okay? Uh, second positive of glaciation in Glendalock um, is deposits of lovely soil, in, in particular that soil boulder clay, okay? And they have made the farmland around Glendalock really good for farming and very fertile. Now, I don't mean the land on top of the mountains you can see there in front of you. I mean like the kind of fields in the, you know, kind of the rate that three, four, five kilometer radius around those uh, mountains there. Land there is really good and fertile and ideal for farming, okay? Uh, what's a third positive? Well, the Corrie Lake, so does the lake is called a Corrie, a lake formed by glaciation is called a Corrie. Uh, Loch Nahangan is used with a human-made reservoir to generate hydroelectric power, okay? So, uh, guys, think back to where else is there hydroelectric power in County Wicklow. Um, we would have covered that uh, Pool of Fuca Dam a few weeks ago. So, this dam provides electricity um, to, to places like Dublin, okay? Really, really important, okay? So, if you look at a picture there, guys, that's a hydroelectric power plant there, okay? As the water flows through it, it spins turbines, and that generates electricity, okay? Um Final positive, meltwater from the glacier formed valleys that are now used as routeways through the area. Okay, for example, the Bray to Arklow Road runs through a meltwater channel in the Glen of Downs. Guys, meltwater, what is meltwater? Well, when that really big, thick ice glacier melts, okay, the ice obviously turns into water. And that water creates a river, and that river will flow. And guys, there is so much water coming off that massive glacier that that water will erode a valley, and that valley can be used as, as like a routeway. So there'll be a road going through that valley, okay? And the reason why you, you think, how, how could melting ice cause this? Well, the glacier, guys, remember, these glaciers are like over one kilometer in thickness. So when they melt, they give off so much water that, they, that, that there's a really powerful stream. And this stream will cut and erode its way through the mountains and erode a valley. And then that valley can be used as a way of traveling, okay? So in the present day, that valley, uh, the Bray to Arklo Road is a valley. And that would, there's a road obviously going through that, okay? And that valley was carved out by, um, by meltwater from a glacier, okay? So there are some positive effects of glaciation in Glendalough, okay? Now, when there's positives, there's usually some negatives, okay? So the first negative, okay? Lead and zinc mining in Glendalough started in the 1790s. So lead and zinc uh, was special, was you know in the rocks, and they would use this to make me types of metals. Okay, these metals were close to the surface of the earth because glaciers removed so much rock from the area that the veins of metal became more accessible. They have left unsightly slag heaps further down the valley. Okay, that's not a major negative. Okay, so what that is, guys, is because the glacier had eroded quite a lot of the top 
of uh, the mountains in Glendalough. It meant that you didn't have to go too far down to find these lead and zinc deposits, okay? Um, and, you know, the, the, the slag heaps, the, so basically the heaps from the old mines are still, uh, can be seen on the valley, but, you know, that's not the end of the world, okay? Uh, second negative of glaciation in Glendalough. Glacial ice removed soil from other parts of the Wicklow Mountains, okay? So while we said uh, the glacier provided fertile boulder clays just outside the Wicklow Mountains, on the Wicklow Mountains itself, the glacial ice actually removed valuable soil. So as the glacier moved, it pulled up valuable soil, okay? And this has left the land here unsuitable for many types of farming. The only sort of farming you could do on this land is basically sheep farming. Look at a picture on your right there. There's a sheep just chilling out there in, in Glendalock and County Wicklow, okay? So the soil there is, is not good. It's rocky and it's, it's, it's really thin, infertile. So sheep farming is the only type of farming there, okay? Um, tourism. So while we said tourism was a positive, okay, it brings a lot of people to the area, they spend money, it can also be a negative. So tourists have been known to, you know, damage the Wicklow Mountains, okay, so for example, flora and fauna, um, they would, like, plants and animals, they'd go and they'd pick up plants, pick up animals, uh, no, no, not pick up animals, sorry, but pick plants they shouldn't pick, and, you know, these, um, these plants could act as food sources or habitats for other animals so they can kind of damage the area okay also they can litter okay so you know if you ever go to Glendalock there's shops there's takeaways and stuff there a lot of people get a coffee and a sandwich as they go for a walk you know when they finish their coffee what might they do they might throw the cup on the ground okay look at a picture there guys here's a, a picture of somebody who's literally just dumped a big pile of waste in Glendalock okay because Glendalock is so remote guys some people think it's okay to go and dump waste on, on the side of the mountain there okay so uh litter is quite a big problem in Glendalock okay um now we know that Glendalock um has created a routeway from Arklow to um Wicklow town okay but sometimes the way glaciers have shaped mountains can be bad and make it dumb impassable for transport so look at the picture here guys okay here we have a example of roads and you know ideally you know you'd want a straight road just going from left to right with a bridge or something okay but because of the shape of the valley okay and this is the case with Glendalock they've had to build winding roads up and down the mountains which are costly to build and difficult to use okay they're difficult to pass through okay and that's the case with Glendalock so if you drive to Glendalock the roads around Glendalock are really twisty and winding and narrow and they're not really great and that can be difficult for transportation okay uh, folks, if you go on to our very last slide here, you have six questions to do, okay? Thank you very much.